Hello friends, welcome to another shoe unboxing. Um, this shoe unboxing continues the Safari Bread Pack golf shoes. Um, this one is the unboxing for the Roshi G NRG. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, iconic Nike golf, or I'm sorry, Nike box. Um, but obviously this shoe is the Roshi G Tour NRG. Um, I was able to get these um, via Nike.com. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So, boom. Take that out. And boom. Look at that. Wow, a lot happening. Here's the, ah, let's get the box out. And obviously, you get the uh, paperwork. If you typically see this paperwork um, in the Nike Golf box, that typically means that the shoe has a waterproof warranty. So again, um, this is a Nike Golf limited one year warranty. These shoes are waterproof. So let's get the box out the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shoe. Boom, heel area, left lateral side upper. Ooh, I like that metallic red swoosh. Um, white midsole, oh my God, look at this outsole. That's like, if you finish the golf swing, people are looking at your feet. Like, they're looking at this like, what is that shiny thing on your feet? This is sweet. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about this. The importance of that icon being on the shoe. Um, got some pull tabs here, pretty cool. Um, nice material, it looks like a leather inside. And yeah, left side of the shoe. And you get a Nike hit on the tongue. Looks like it's pull it a little bit, so pretty cool there. Blue lacelets. Um, and um, unique part of the insole, which I'll talk about as well. Again, um, this is my first pair of Roshis in terms of a golf shoe. Um, I've had Roshis like the lifestyle shoe, but never um, purchased uh, the actual um, Roshi in a golf shoe, only for the fact that I always wanted the Roshis to have the golf spikes. So I know in previous versions of this shoe, they had a new or updated version of integrated traction or built in spikes. Um, and I was never a fan of that, but now that they brought the outsole, which is very similar, and I'll show you guys um, to the, and I apologize, I'm cleaning these shoes right now, the Air Jordan 11 golf shoe with the updated outsole, pretty much the same. Just obviously in the new Roshi uh, Safari Bread Pack, you get the metallic red, um, super cool look. And then in the uh, Air Jordan 11, uh, you get the kind of blue greenish duo tone color outsole. But we're not here to talk about this shoe. We're here to talk about this one. <laughs> um, so again, a lot of things happening with uh, this shoe. So again, uh, this shoe is part of the Safari uh, bread pack that Nike Golf introduced for the 2019 PGA Championship. Uh, so it's very similar in terms of the color palette as the Air Max One uh, NRG 2019 Safari bread pack uh, golf shoe. Although on the Roshi, they've decided to bring the iconic cement print um, pretty much on the whole upper of the shoe, including the tongue. Um, and the safari print or the cement print, um, is to represent, uh, New York City's, um, being dubbed as the concrete jungle. We have, um, this upper material, which is a microfiber synthetic upper. Um, again, it is waterproof. That's why you get the paperwork, uh, along with the shoes. If you were able to purchase these shoes, uh, one year limited warranty, uh, waterproof on the shoe. Um, and the cool thing about this shoe is that they've introduced in the, uh, midsole Lunar Line. So, um, in different shoes, if you guys are familiar, 
Lunar Lawn was a newer technology that Nike had introduced for uh, running shoes. Um, but then they have brought that, that technology into um, now the golf shoes as well. So you're gonna get um, prolonged comfort in walking in these shoes. Uh, if you're gonna be walking in um, a long round of golf, um, I've always been a big fan of the Lunar Lawn midsole and the React um, React midsole if you guys have um, shoes that have the React material. Um, but yes, we do get microfiber synthetic upper, uh, metallic red swoosh uh, on each side of the shoe. You get the, um, the updated tour version of the outsole. So a lot of people have been wanting to see or get their hands on some metallic um, metallic outsole uh, Nike golf shoes because it just looks pretty awesome, especially when you're seeing this um, on TV or just people wear the shoe and, and you see the, the, the foot come up and you're like, damn, look at that bad, um, that bad metallic color just shine. Especially, especially when Rory McElroy or uh, Jason Day or any of the Nike staffers are wearing um, one of the unique outsoles uh, on, on the golf shoe. Everybody's pretty much um, eyes wide open about it. Um, they've added a, they've added a, uh, a heel area to keep this area locked down in your heel. So that way your foot, foot, if it's gonna be walking and it's not gonna get displaced all over the place, this heel area is pretty, um, it's pretty dense in terms of keeping your heel and your foot locked in. Um, they've added a eight millimeter uh, fit sole technology, which is a sock liner, which is pretty much this inside um, part of the, sh uh, of the shoe for extra support and cushioning. Um, Nike's saying that it will provide all day comfort uh, tee to green. So again, with uh, the Lunar Alarm material in the midsole, the sock liner and fit sole, you should be um, having, if you have the right you know, size shoe, you should have a pretty comfortable walk uh, from a long period of time with, uh, with these specific golf shoes. Um, as I talked about briefly um, with the other video or the Air Max One, um, NRG golf shoe. Um, the Roshi also brings again the maple leaf to represent Beth Page Black um, because again, uh, the leaf represents that the golf course is on a state park. So Nike has decided to put this um, icon design uh, to represent Beth Page Black, it's on a state park. And again, that there's the five stars uh, to represent uh, five key events that have been played at Beth Page Black. Again, that is the U uh, 02 US Open, 09 US Open, the 2012 Barclays FedEx Cup playoffs, the 2016 Barclays FedEx Cup playoffs, and then obviously the recently um, played 2019 PGA Championship at Beth, at Beth Page Black where Brooks Kepka took the Wanamaker Trophy. Um, so pretty cool to see that. Um, and yeah, um, pretty much all the technology in the shoe. You get a heel tab here. You get a um, tongue tab to help you um, pull the uh, tongue when you're putting your foot in here. Um, and again, oh, some pretty cool, I keep forgetting to talk about this, is as you guys can see, the insole has this pigeon pattern. So uh, New York is, um, New York City is known to have um, a ton of pigeons all over the city. Um, it's derived from uh, the iconic, if you guys are familiar with shoes, Nike SB years ago did a uh, uh, Nike SB shoe called the Pigeon. Um, iconic shoe, very hard to get, super expensive, you guys can find it. But they decided to um, incorporate the uh, Pigeons as New York is commonly seen to have um, a ton of pigeons across the city and uh, create a pattern for it um, and put it in the insole. So again, pretty unique details um, throughout the shoe design here. Again, with the maple leaf for the Beth Page Black with the five iconic um, uh, events that have been played at uh, Beth Page Black golf course, the safari print to represent the um, New York as a concrete jungle. Um, and you know, just this, this black color 
represent Beth Hedge Black in the sock liner. Obviously this, you know, tour metallic outside outsole with the um, champ lock system. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Pretty sweet golf uh, shoe. Can't wait to put these out on the golf course. I was, um, I was lucky enough to uh, be able to order these. I hope you guys were able to order these if you guys really wanted them. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about the golf shoe. I'm really um, excited to get these out on the course just because I've never had a Roshi uh, golf shoe before. And um, now that they have them with the outsole that I'm very, uh, very familiar and really happy with, um, I'm really excited to get these out on the golf course. So um, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys out on the course.